Also, we've got that scare in the air, that emergency landing you saw this, Amy, after an evacuation slide deploys in the middle of a cross-country flight. ABC's David Curley is at Reagan National Airport with the latest for us this morning. David, good morning. Good morning, David. This plane was very high when this happened. Passengers thought maybe the door had opened. It was actually an accidental deployment of the slide. It was fast and very scary. This is what an emergency slide looks like when it inflates in flight. Frightening. All of a sudden heard a popping noise and then looked back and you could see this slide inflated like an airbag. The United Jetliner was heading to Orange County, California from Chicago. It was a cruising altitude, more than 38,000 feet. It was 10 o'clock at night and the slide goes. We heard a little bit of a pop and we saw the stewardesses running towards the front of the plane. Scariest flight of all time. That's what one passenger tweeted with the slide filling the back of the 737. The pilot declared an emergency, diverted to Wichita, Kansas, where the airport wanted to know what's the situation on board. You know, the 1463, do you have any injuries from the uh, deployment of that flight craft? Everybody's fine. Emergency and hazmat crews awaited the arrival of the jetliner. The good news, none of the 96 passengers nor six crew members were injured. This is not the first time this has happened when a slide built into the door inflates at the wrong time. Back in November, a JetBlue flight attendant was pinned for a while. It even happened in an Obama campaign plane. Now, emergency slides have the attention of safety officials. When the Asiana jet crashed in San Francisco last year, some of its slides deployed inside as it cartwheeled down the runway. As for those passengers last night, David, they spent the night in Wichita. They should be on their way to California later this morning. Yeah, after being a little frightened by the whole thing, David, thank you.